Hello and welcome to the Golden Dispatch. The Bengals' final preseason game wasn't particularly exciting until the last few minutes when Keith Vanning led his team back with a few nice throws, including a touchdown pass to Alonzo Russell with 155 left in the game. John, I know you weren't impressed with either QB, but were there any throws that stood out to you? Yeah, I liked McCarron's throw to Andrew Bonnet off of his back foot with a man in his face. Coming off a roll-off on play action, the defender did a good job recognizing the play and was in the ideal situation to defend it. McCarron just made a nice throw. And Wenning's throw to Erickson on the run was alright as well. He showed decent mobility and pocket presence. Other than that, it was about as vanilla of a passing game as you can get. That's why based on the range of red, I'm going to have to say that both were a bright copper. There just wasn't enough substance to make of anything. McCarron was slightly disappointing because he had some good receivers playing like our talented rookies in Tyler Boyd and Cody Core and Alex Erickson but didn't get much going against the Colts' backups. Yeah, I mean, you know, but I thought Vanning looked competent. I could see him being a backup in the league for four years to come. Well, that actually brings me to today's... Hojoscope. Keith Winning faced long odds. It wasn't likely to make the 53-man roster, but he showed just enough to deserve another year on the practice squad, which is why it was very interesting that the Bengals decided to pick up free agent quarterback Jeff Driscoll off waivers, who was honestly a lot worse than Winning who it looks to be done as a Bengal, but I predict that Wenning will find a home on someone else's practice squad and compete for that backup position. Who knows, maybe he'll be McCarron's backup after we trade him away. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, yeah, I mean, it would be something that Hoji would be very upset about. daddy -o. You know the real reason Hoji is such a McCarron fanboy, right? Uh, no. Well, back in late 2007, Hoji attended an Alabama high school game when in town for a Willie Nelson concert. He purchased what he thought were soybean organic gluten-free nuts from the concession stand, but were actually just regular peanuts. The ensuing shock of eating normal food had a chemical effect on Hoji's brain, making McCarran look like an otherworldly superstar on that night. How do you know this stuff, man? I mean, anyways, we'll see you next time on The Dalton Dispatch. I knew someday